hello uh, viewers and subscribers uh, one oh, welcome once again my continuation of the previous screencast number 35.1.35.14 uh, i did the last 14 screencast about the about the how can you develop the font and view uh, font and font and development or the GUI or, or UI development based on Angular and the TypeScript combinations. And that's I said the last screencast was the uh, was the about the how we can build your project, how can you manage your dependencies and how can you build your components, classes and services. That was the uh, the last screencast about that one. So many, the last screencast, the many subscriber and viewers asking me to give it to you the detail, uh, some detailed information about the, about the open layers, the maps, maps, JavaScript APIs. That's why I try to give it to you uh, with this screencast, the theoretical background, how, how API, uh, open layer, JavaScript map API works and uh, how the possibilities and how I integrate those APIs into my into my applications. That's I say the last screencast. It it is as an enterprise application. I need a really more more to more to do. It will it will take times. But please stay with uh, with the continuation of the uh, the screencast. So if you, if you saw here the the very very abstract level information about uh, about the how open layer map APIs, the packaging. You see the modules like uh, render features and then the collection features from open layer, collection events, and then collections, features, geolocation, and then and then the map events, map browser events, maps and objects, and then object event and objects. And this is the main classes or main module for the for the for the open layers. Because I said there is a possibility to, to build a map the geo application based on the open layers you can use also the leaflet even though you can go with the other other map uh, map uh, java based map apis like s3 has the s3 javascript map api and even though google has a google map apis so the depending how the your project requirement depending how you would like to do that's why i said the last screencast on the theoretically in my presentations it's it's if we have a really really big data set to visualize into the google maps but there is a restriction but if you need a, a really more data set and then then you need to be get the license from google you need to pay the money for that one but in the in the in respect to the open source like open layer leaflet there is no limitations for that those type of um, those, those those type of how many hits you did your maps or how many how many object you try to present into the in the into the into the maps it doesn't matter it's a matter about how you you caching and rendering works how much you efficient your applications uh, how you can cache your information into the into the browser level that's the information so if i go to detail information here if i go to the features modules or feature classes has a lot of methods and i will show you of which methods I use in my applications when I did the development, I will show you detail how it says. But here is an overview of which what those are methods are available in at the moment, the open layer version number 6.1.0. So you see the get geometry means with this if you have a features like point features or line features or polygon features or multi-line string features or multi-polygon features, you just lay to feature names and dot geometry or that means the say the the api calculate the function calculate automatic white type of geometry it is that's the one of the most important uh, functions from from the from the features class so and then there's a lot of said you can even though you set set geometry geometry type even though we get the set the ids of the geometry even though get the get information so it's, it's sort of the getter and setter method in in respect to the java like you can get it you can set it those information if you go to the map map classes map modules like add control you can do zoom in zoom out control even though you can draw this this with these methods 
uh, you can have you have it add layers so this is the two in most important methods add control add interactions interaction means the how you interact you maps you zoom in zoom out functionalities maybe you customize zoom in zoom out functionalities add layers yeah if you have a base layer like open street maps or google maps or, or yahoo maps it doesn't matter uh, you take the your base maps and you you put your data into the into the map this call add layers means you add how many layers you try to lead it to but this is a layer if you have a multiple layers you need to be layer should be transparent so i will show you how it is the transparent uh, uh, done. so you can get control of these maps you get methods a lot of get method get layers you can even do you have a 10 layers then you can also take the which layer you need to customize features or customize styling or customize something to do with that one so this is the respect the all relevant methods for the from the from the map, map class so you see the map browser there's a many methods the coordinates you can the get the coordinates from each of the features even though in the map and the mouse position you can in the browser level you click it in click it and get the current position of the of the mouse uh, even though the pixels and type of uh, type of uh, object or type of selections of what you did it here so in the collections there is a for loop for each uh, if you have a that's a, that's the most important one of the most important methods uh, the iteration uh, extended for loops as, as in case of in java case and here is the for loop for java 8 for there is a for each um, for each methods uh, for each iterations uh, in java 8 that's available so in the exactly same thing here so if you have a like that's why i said this is will be the enterprise application i need to i need to call the the rest services the spring boot based rest services and iterate to this as uh, the information and build the maps and even though in respective pop-ups or respective information for the specific geometry or specific features like points, line, polygons. So there's all respective methods. Uh, uh, you can use it, and even though there is extension for each, and the get array, get keys, get length, and get this is most one of the most important methods. Get properties. Even though you can set properties, and you can here's a setter, and here's a setter, and here's a getter. So this is most important. Uh, I will show you how the these those in these those two functions how it's used really in the real life in the real enterprise applications when I did the developments. So the collections there's options and then the collections event has a uh, elements index target types and there's a respective method so and so on so forth. But for our my for my application case I basically use the those those classes into the implementation maybe in future if i need it then maybe i need a geolocation or in the map events or map event browser even though this this those those sort of class so i have here provide you the really abstract uh, api information whose classes i use my existing implementations that like maps is basically new well maps the open is to open layer maps and then to load the base maps I mean base map coming from maybe the maybe the Google so you can street maps or Yahoo map depending where you try to get your base maps but it it also depend on the on the on the U licensing process if you are really really open source means uh, open source license and then uh, then you have it some limitations if you have a really license from the respective of respective provider then you have more functionalities but the, for the Open street, open lay, open lay, open layers, and the leaflets is free. It's you can get it free, and you can do you what you would like to do. So here's the tile. This is the tile class, and then it's a tile maps. You mean the tile? I mean the tile means if you have a like think about like a, the country like Germany, maybe there is a sixty tile. A, tile means is a is a is a rectangular or square box, and how many boxes in the is divided whole country of Germany. This is the tile layer. That means when you load the maps and you can fix it, okay, which part of the map, which tile I try to load into the my applications. Don't don't do everything. Don't 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 load all tiles in the over the country or over the world. We don't need it because if you load the all tiles part in the world, and that's will be the application will be will be slower and it's take there's some rendering time that depend on the decision. That means if you really if you really know which tile is into is applicable your application location where you try to put your informations and exactly know and then specifically use this 
these or those tiles and then and then and then in that case the new application will be optimized so this is the OSM class, the OpenStreetMap class, and then it's, it's loading the, the base maps from the OpenStreet server. 